Welcome to this tutorial on entering grades in the CUNY FIRST system. My name is Adam Scott Want, Assistant Professor and Faculty Fellow for Online Learning at John Jay College of Criminal Justice. This video is best watched in 720p high definition at full screen. This is due to small words and icons within the CUNY FIRST system. CUNY FIRST could be reached by the direct link home.cunyfirst.cuny.edu or you can get to CUNY FIRST by using Google. Simply type CUNY FIRST in the search bar and the first result will be the CUNY FIRST homepage. Welcome to the CUNY FIRST login page. First-time users could register using this link highlighted in red. Once registered, log in with your username and password. Once you log in, it will bring you directly to this CUNY First welcome page. On the right, we have information from the university, including CUNY First notices on the bottom. On the left, highlighted in red, we have an area for information and announcements from your local campus. The most important section of this page and the section we will need for grading and almost all of our faculty duties is located in the Enterprise menu which is currently highlighted in red. Specifically, let me draw your attention to the Self-Service link which is currently highlighted in red. It is this Self-Service link which will lead us to almost all the functions we need as a faculty member. Please focus your attention on the red highlight box. You will see a drop-down arrow next to the self-service link. It is this drop-down arrow that we need to click to access the self-service options. This part can be a little technical for first-time users. In the orange box we see self-service options. Most faculty members will have the options such as personnel, payroll, and benefits. However, depending on what your role is within the university, you might have many more options. I only have the Review Transactions and Faculty Center permissions. Other people within the university, including chairs and other directors, will have additional options. As a faculty member, let me draw your attention to the Faculty Center which is being pointed at by the red arrow. It is this faculty center that you will need to click on to enter grades. If you do not see the faculty center listed, check to make sure that the small arrow box is pointing down. You will see the small arrow box highlighted in red within the orange square. If the arrow is pointing down and you do not see the faculty center, you may not have the proper permissions assigned contact the Department of Information Technology or your help desk to get yourself properly enrolled as a faculty member. To enter grades, click on the Faculty Center to proceed. Welcome to the Faculty Center. You should be starting on the My Schedule tab, which is the tab highlighted in the red box. This is exactly where you want to be to enter grades. Let's start with a tour of the My Schedule section as this is the area you will need to control your rosters and enter your grades. First, let's click on Change Term to ensure that we have selected the right semester. Select the current semester so you could have options necessary to enter the grades. Once you've selected your semester, click Continue to proceed. Now you should see the correct semester highlighted in the area where I have the red box. Now that you have the correct semester highlighted, let me give you a tour of the My Teaching Schedule area, which I currently have highlighted in red. I currently have the roster icon highlighted in red. It looks like three people. Clicking on this area will bring you to the course roster. To enter your grades, click on the icon that I currently have highlighted in red. It looks like a professor standing in front of a blackboard. Be careful not to accidentally click on the class link highlighted in the red box. If you clicked on the CRJ 75001 link, it will not take you to an area where you can enter grades. Instead, it will take you to an area of CUNY First that has detailed information about your class. 
you can confirm you're in the right location by looking for the words grade roster. I have the red arrow pointing right at it. In the red box, you can confirm that you've selected the right course. You could see both the year, term, and course ID to confirm you've selected the correct course. Scroll down to the bottom of the page to access your list of students to enter the grades. For privacy reasons, I have blocked out both my student names and student IDs. You could see in this one course I have eight students registered. For advanced users, you could import and export grades using CSV or Excel files. Look at the red highlighted box for that area. Perhaps I will cover this in another tutorial in the future. We enter student grades under the column Roster Grade. Click on the drop-down box to enter grades for each student. Clicking on the drop-down box will give you a list of available grades for that student in that course. Select the appropriate grade for each student down the list. I will now proceed to assign grades in this graduate course. Now that I have my grades entered, I am not done yet. I still need to submit my grades to the registrar and finalize the process. It is a two-step process. Step one is done under the Grade Roster Action box. Specifically, click on the drop-down box next to the Approval status. Select Submit Grades to Registrar from the drop-down box. Once you have selected Submit Grades to Registrar, click the Save button to complete the first step. You may see the word Saved flash in a box in the area I have highlighted in red. It flashes quickly so you may miss it. The first step was submitting the grades to the Registrar and hitting Save. We are not done yet. If you've gone this far, you still have one additional step to complete in order to properly submit your grade. On the bottom of the page, you will see a button labeled Post. I currently have it highlighted in red. You must click on Post to finalize the process once you are finished. Congratulations! Once you hit Post, you are finished. If you scroll back up to the top of the page, under Grade Roster Action, you should see that it actually says Posted. This is your only confirmation that you have correctly posted your grades. If you do not see it labeled as posted, retrack your steps through this tutorial to figure out where things went wrong. At this point, let's click on My Schedule to go and see our list of courses. This will bring us back to the Faculty Center and the My Schedule page. At this point, you could either select an additional course to grade or close out of CUNY first if you are done entering your grades for the semester. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I made this tutorial in May 2014 at the request of the John Jay College of Criminal Justice Faculty Senate Technology Committee. Over the summer of 2014, I expect to make additional tutorials. Once I create additional videos, I will post a link to the playlist now. Clicking on the link, if it's here in flashing, will lead you to a playlist with additional CUNY First videos.